Um, this is my review of the Mead ETX-80 Backlack Observatory Telescope. It's not a bad telescope. It's it's good and it comes with a, some pretty nice stuff. Um, and I think it's really good. So it comes with a controller. Um, and the Audio Star controller. Um. A night, a 45 degrees, um, new lens for the back, actually, that, um, actually, so this can unscrew off, and you can connect this on, and this part's great for bird watching and stuff on Earth. But when you're doing astronomy in space, this one makes it clearer and better, and this one makes it clearer and better for bird watching. It comes with four screws. These are the two actual ones. The other ones are on telescope. It comes with these two Mead 4000 eyepieces. And it also comes with this um, battery compartment. Let's get that out. Ow. Um, so yeah, that's pretty um cool. You need six double A's and it's a connector like this, so it's like the special um thing that connects to these type of um, the special club, or you can get one of these. These are like the ones that actually connect to it. So let's get more about the tel telescope. And um, so um, you know that I told you about it is electric, an electric telescope, right? So now I'm going to show you a little video about it. So first, you turn on the on switch. It will take um, a little time and then it will show you some information up here that's growing. Um, at the end, read all this, but I know what to do so I'll press speed. Then for this, just read along this too, and um, you just press speed and hold. Doesn't work the first time. Just hold um, speed. Then it will say getting time. If it's your first time, enter the time alignment. One star, two star. At the best of all, at the top is easy. Well, enter that. Now you need to point the scope north. So, and then another, um, another feature it comes with, it's very smart, it comes with this little bubble compass. So, you can connect this instead of an eyepiece, or you can do the eyepiece and this, and you can tell if it's, the telescope is pointing north or not. So, that's a great little feature. I'm going to move this around to north. There we go, it's north. And then, um, if you do the compass, um, after you read all the information down here, you can press enter or speed, and then a um, mode. And then, either press this for true north, and then down for compass. So I'm going to do the compass. And then it's going to Cyrus right now. It does this completely automatically. If you don't know what planet Cyrus is, then you'll learn on the first night you use the telescope. I'm not, I'm not touching the telescope at all. The telescope actually is programmed, so it knows this.
Then it'll go back to little whistle when it's done, then press enter. Now it's searching for a capella, another another very, very, very bright spot in sky. Even though you might not know capella, the telescope will tell you it the first night you use it. Then there's our little enter. Then alignment successful. So object, events, guided tour. Let's go back up to object. If this is like solar system, constellation, deep sky, star, satellites, user object, landmarks, and device. And then press mode, by the way, if you want to go back. Um, then next is event, um, it's a sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset, moon braces, mental, meteor showers, sooner, sooner, sooner eclipse, lunar eclipse, and that. So this is a nice one. Another nice one is guided tour. If you don't know what to do, um, ask the telescope to give you guided tour. Then glossary and all the stuff. So I'm going to do object and solar system, Mercury, Mercury, uh, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Moon, asteroids, comets, Mercury. And I'm going to go to Jupiter. If you don't know what this means, just press go to and it will go automatically to Jupiter. Telescope does this automatically. Even though you don't know what Jupiter is. Well, um, where Jupiter is, the telescope will tell you. It's okay. Everything's going okay. If it doesn't work and it says unit order failure, just look in the instructions. That's my happen. So that's a little review of that. Um, then a little great thing that comes with is this rock sack. Let me get it. Um, so it has a compartment for everything. Here is um the storage compartments. You get your two eyepieces and you put it in these little slots like this. Then take these little straps and strap it on the eyepieces. Yeah, you do that and then under it there's some storage. You can put your cursor in and you do your um, extra lens and your two little um, screws and then you can take your compass and put it in there and your spare battery if you ever need one. Um, and that's the review of my me ETX-80 backpack observatory. Thank you for watching.